dark. Everybody start looking down, like, look. So I just hit the record for our podcast and our YouTube. What's going on, y'all? Y'all listening to the Door Presents Open Conversation Show. Today, we're going to have Daryl Ace. We're going to talk about credit. We're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about how we sometimes don't know how we can utilize the system to get what we want just from our credit. So matter of fact, he's supposed to come on in a couple of minutes, but he's been so patient and waiting. I'm going to bring him on now. So that way he can come on a little early so he can, then I can make sure that I share this broadcast while he introduces himself and let everybody know what he do. And see, I knew Daryl for a long time. There we go. I knew Daryl for a long, long, long time. <laughs> Unmute yourself, Daryl. And simply D know Daryl for a long, long time. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Tom? Yo, what's this, up, man? What's going this, on? This, this is this is uh, when I see him, right? I smile because when I met Daryl, we had times when we used to party with the celebrities, and, and, and I met a lot of people that's in the business because of this guy right here. <laughs> Look, yes, from from yep. SWV, from a whole lot of other individuals, from Sugar Ray Leonard's son, from different mm -hmm. people. We used to be um, bring back memories. Every <laughs> Look, we used to be at a, every event. <laughs> Yep. And having fun. And uh, I want to bring him to the forefront. Daryl, you introduce yourself to our viewers, to our listeners, and let them know a little bit about you as far as your history and different things about the business. Okay, my name is Daryl. Everybody knows me as Daryl Knows Credit. Um, I used to do a lot of stuff in the music industry. I managed a lot of groups. Uh, music Soul Child, As Yet, back in the day. Just, you know, quite a few groups. Uh, but then I got into doing photography. I started another business with Marty, um, with um, the media and reference to doing photography, um, graphic design, um, websites. So I opened up a, um, a media studio. So then with that media studio, then we had a lot of artists there. Uh, we opened up a thing. We had like a TV show called Exposure Nation uh, back in the day. Uh, we had a lot of artists there uh about 500 artists at that time um and we just we just kept it moving you know but our main thing was basically photography at the time also that's where we made all our money at in photography we're the ones ace Rose studio are the ones who started a uh, girl's night out photo parties where the girl would come there and then she would have photo parties and stuff like that she'd bring maybe about 15 20 of her girls and they have a nice time so that's where everything really started from, from that. Then from there, then that's when years later, um, I tried to go get uh, some money from the bank, but the bank wouldn't give me no money, okay? Because my credit was bad. But once, you know, we went there, we tried to get some money from them, and they was like, nah, because, um, you know, your credit, you know, because of credit, you didn't qualify. And even though I was showing them where though, you know, at that time too, we was bringing in at least 30, 40,000 a weekend, they was like, nope. So I always say that, not to brag or anything like that, but I'm just saying that it's not about the cash and credit. It's a in, in business, it's about the credit. And that's where it's at. You can have all the cash, but you're gonna run out of cash. The cash is only small. It's all about the credit. And that's where um, somebody introduced me, a young lady came to my facility at the studio and they was talking to me about credit. And my credit was messed up at the time. So I'm only going back two years. The last two years, my credit was messed up. Uh, she came there, she was telling me a little bit about it. Then I really got into it, man. I was just a fanatic about it. I, I dug in deep about it. So I got in so deep. Um, that's all I was, that's basically all I was doing was, was getting my credit fixed. I would I was I figured out, you know, the different codes, how to how to hack different things in the credit, uh, with the credit bureaus. And then it just opened up a lot of doors to me, you know? So then once I understood how that worked, now it's like, oh man, I can see, I, I, I fixed my wife's credit, I fixed my brother's credit, I fixed um, friends and family. But once I start doing that, then I say, hey, you know what? I can turn this into a business. Cause now I really, really understand it. And I want to take it back to our community and teach everybody in our community 
yo, this is what you need because credit is, you know, credit is power, y'all. It's way bigger than just having credit and saying, all right, I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to go to the mall and chill out and get me some clothes on the mall or this and that or get a car and this and that. It's way bigger than that. It's way bigger, way bigger. So once I understood it, then I would go to the bank first. When I was fixing my credit, um, what I did, I went and I got a um, payday loan. And you, you all probably know about the payday loans. The payday loans are extremely high. So I went and got a payday loan. They gave me $5,000 for the payday loan. Once they gave me the 5000 what happened was that they gave me the 5000 but it, I had to pay about $800 a month on that $5,000. All right. But I didn't mind doing it because I was on a mission at the time. So I said, all right, I'm only going to have it for one month. You know, because then the next month, I mean, my credit score go up. So then I understood how banks work. Banks don't like other banks. And banks is all about the interest rate. If, it, if, you, if you know one interest rate is at one place, then you can go to another bank at a lower interest rate. Now that, that helps you out a lot. So that's what I did. I went to um, payday loan. They gave me 5,000. Then I went over to, I'll give you all the name. I went to one main, okay. Uh, made my credit score go up one main. Uh, at that time, they gave me $10,000 because I asked them, I said, will you all pay back? Will you all take the debt from payday loan? Will y'all buy that debt? They said, yeah, we'll buy that debt. So they put that debt for $10,000. They paid off the $5,000 and then gave me $5,000. They paid, so the whole total amount was $10,000. So then I said, now I'm $10,000 in debt with one main. So then I said, okay, let me go ahead and flip it even more. So now I said, all right, let me take this 10 that I owe in debt. Now, let me go ahead and go over to the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union. So then I said, all right, let me make my credit score go up. So I made my credit score go up. Once that went up the next month, now I went over to Navy Fed, they gave me 20,000. So now I was able to flip it over there, but now my payment only went down to like about $150. My payment went down to compared to $800. You say, so now they gave me 20,000. Now I'm walking around and, and don't forget, I still have the five and I still got the other five from the other two banks because I didn't spend that. You say, so now I'm sitting with money's there. So then I said, hmm, let me figure out a way how to leverage everything, how to leverage the credit, how to go into banks and get money from the banks. So this is what I'm gonna ask you all. So when you all go into the bank and y'all apply for a credit card, right? They normally, they might give you a thousand dollars. I'm saying if your credit's not good, they might give you a thousand dollars. And as soon as they give you that, say, hey, hey, Mr. Such and Such, you just been, we just gave you, uh, you've been approved for $2,000, okay? So now you've been approved for $2,000. Most people do what, y'all? They get up, they take that $2,000 and they say, okay, all right, cool. All right. And they only gave me 2000, right? But what y'all don't know is that the banks and the credit unions are sitting on other type of products. So they might've gave you a credit card, but that credit card they gave you might've been a travel credit card. But don't forget, they got travel credit cards. They got charge, uh, they got charge cards. They got um, cashback credit cards too. So here it is. If they gave you $2,000 on the cashback card, now you ask and then you, 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 you stay and you sitting right there, you're not getting up. And then you say, hey, let me get a um, cashback card or a travel card. Now you got two cards, okay? Now that's 2000. So take that. So this is what I did. Mm, I'm gonna say maybe about three months ago. This is what I did. Once I, understand, once I understood that strategy and that concept. So I went into the bank. All right, and you don't have to go in. You can just, you can call. All this is done basically over the phone. But the Navy Fed, I went into the Navy Fed. I said, I want to get a, uh, what's your highest credit card? He said, the signature card, okay? So I said, all right, I want to get the, I want to apply for the signature card. All right, so I applied for the signature card. They gave me $25,000 on the signature card, okay? Like I said, most people would have got up. Oh, I got $25,000, I'm out of here. I'm going, okay, wow, okay. No, that's not the game. No, nope. you're leaving money on the table. So what I did, I took that 25 and I said, you know what? I want to, um, that was for the signature card. That was a cashback card. So I said, now I want to get a travel card too. Uh, let me see your travel card. So he said, okay, you want to qualify for a travel card? I said, yes. They gave me another 25,000. 
on a travel card. So now I'm sitting on 50,000, right? So now guess what? I'm not finished there, okay? Because now it's time for, okay, you know what? I got an LLC, okay? And I want to, you know, uh, I want to get funding for my bank. I mean, for my, um, for my business, right? Guess what? They gave me 50,000. All right. So now just off of them, I'm sitting off, I'm sitting on $100,000. 100,000 It's real. Y'all I'm telling you it's, it's real. Right. But now this is the kicker. Y'all got to be open-minded to what I'm sharing with you all. Cause I'm telling you it's real. I even taught my daughter how to do this. All right. So this is what it is. So now people saying, well, dang, that's a lot of uh, inquiries, right? But this is how you got to look at it. You're going to break it up because see, this is how banks work. What I do, I figure out where they pull from. You will understand that Navy Fed might pull from um, Experian. I mean, they might pull from Equifax, right? But now I go to the banks, I already pre-qualify myself before I even go in because I know I'm like, okay, what do you pull from? So, okay, you are pull from TransUnion. Okay, if y'all pull from TransUnion, then I'm going to a bank that pull from TransUnion, right? But this is the kicker. They, just for one inquiry, they hold your, they hold your credit report for 45 days. So you can receive, you can ask to get three uh, credit cards from them, okay? So you can get three credit cards from that one bank with just one inquiry. Okay, so what I do, I take that, I say, okay, all right, I'm going to ABC Bank over here. Now, these are the banks that I'm telling you about. These are the banks that most people don't even know that even exist. They don't know. You all know your major banks, Citibank, Wells Fargo, you know, y'all know banks like that. Y'all don't know the, the, the hidden banks that's out here and there's, and there's millions of them, for real, it really is. So what I'm going to do, okay, that, that one bank, ABC Bank, they, they go from TransUnion, TransUnion, right? So now I'm saying, okay, that's only one inquiry, but guess what? I'm doing the same play that I did at the other ones I'm doing there also. So now I'm going to that other bank and I'm doing the same thing. And my, they might say, all right, Dad, here, here we go. We're going to give you, uh, you just been qualified for 20,000. All right, give me, you, you all got a travel card too? Give me the travel card y'all have. Okay, that was the uh, cash card that they gave me. All right, now I get the travel card. But the, guess what? I'm sitting 25 more thousand, 20,000 more. So let me, Yo, let me, let me, I did that let me ask one you, day. Let me ask you. So that way, like, I'm going to play, uh, I don't understand. I understand, okay. but people okay. that don't understand. So, okay. cause a lot of times when we go to banks and we say apply for mm -hmm. stuff and they might say, well, we only can give you this much. You just broke down that they hold your credit score for, I mean, they hold your credit inquiry for 45 days. So if I ask them for a different card, like what you're saying, they mm -hmm. go by that pool that they already pulled, right? They don't yep. run it again. They no, they don't run it again. Which... Right, okay. right. But these are only certain banks. Every bank right. don't do that. That's the thing. You got to okay. you got to know what banks to go to because most banks and the major banks that you all know about, they give you one inquiry, but that's all you're going to be able to get one product from them. Okay. Gotcha. But the banks that I'm affiliated with that I know, they give you three inquiry. I mean, one inquiry, but they got three products. That's even gotcha. including a line of credit. You see, gotcha. but now this is the thing. Everybody wants to get business credit. Everybody talk about business credit now, right? Right, right. So what happens is that they talk about business credit and they want, oh, I want to get business credit. I want to, I don't want it to show up on my, on my um, personal. I just want to be able to use business credit and I want to get it all like that, right? But so what they do, they don't worry about getting their personal fixed up and they just go straight to the business credit and now they got to go through the different vendors, Okay, so the different right. tiers you got to go through, you got to go through three to four different tiers before right. you even try to qualify for a major credit card. All right. So gotcha. when you go that direction, yo, it's, a, it's, it's really a waste. It's because you spent about fifteen hundred dollars. You went all the way up to the tiers, tier three, tier four. But your main objective was to get American Express card. 
That was your right. man. That's, 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 that's the major that's card. The card. That's the major card, isn't it? That's American one of the major Super cards, card. right? But guess what? You can't get that card because what they do now, they personal guarantee your personal. So your personal has to be good first gotcha. so that you can personal guarantee your, your company, your business. Gotcha. You see what I'm now, saying? What if, what, if, what if your credit is bad, but you keep getting stuff in the mail saying that you pre-qualify, and then when you go to inquire about the pre-qualification, they tell you you don't qualify. Right. And that's the it's, the, it's all set up like that. It's to keep you right where you at. It's to keep you okay. right where you at because you got all these inquiries. Now, what's happening? You might be at a 580 credit score and now you're inquiring and you're doing exactly what they what they feed and you're you inquiring and guess what? Now your credit score going down more now. Now your interest rate was one. Now it's way up here. And now they send you in the mail again saying, hey, you, you can qualify, pre-qualify for this. And now you pre-qualify. Now guess what? Your interest rate go up again. That's because you don't know, you don't understand what's going on yet. You know what I'm saying? And this is what, mm -hmm. I always hate to say this, but this is what the white folks, this is what the Indians been doing. Um, um, this is where they've been doing at the Jewish people. They've been in on this game forever, forever. Mm -hmm. But once you get a, a, a person with dark skin like us, get in the game, and then you just show us one time, and we get on it, we're going to buck wild. And that's what happened with me. I was introduced that way, okay? And by being introduced, now I introduce it to the masses. I introduce it to everybody in our community. Okay. Because everybody, I'm telling y'all, y'all sitting on a million dollars and don't, don't so, even understand. I'm sorry, go ahead. So when you get those, so for those who are watching and listening, when you get those pre-qualification credit cards or loans in the mail, you shouldn't apply for them. Is that what you're saying? No, not if you're not, not if your personal credit not set up properly. See, okay. what, I do, what I do, I put your personal credit on steroids. So we not, see the average person and say, all right, my credit score, I got a 700, but that don't mean nothing. I got an 800, it doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing at all. It really doesn't. It's because the profile, your profile gotta be set up. You gotta have a mix of credit. So by having a mix of credit, you gotta be paying on time. You gotta have some credit cards. You might have to have um, a car loan and maybe a mortgage. Okay, so now exactly. you got a mix of credit now, okay? So when people come to me and they don't have a mix of credit, if they don't come to me and go to somebody else, they're not gonna have a mix of credit. They're gonna, they're gonna fix their credit per se, but the profile is still gonna be a weak profile. It's gonna be weak. Yeah, because then, they, then they're gonna say you don't have any credit history. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So now, exactly, Tom. Yep. So now what I do, I look at the profile and I'm like, all right, this is what we're going to do, y'all. We're going to create it ourselves. We're not waiting on nobody to do nothing for us. That's the thing. We got to right. stop waiting around for, well, uh, they're going to do this. No, it's not going to happen like that. You got to go out. You got to make it happen. So what I do, I look at the profile. I'll be like, okay, all right, do you own a car? Let me ask you, Tone, you own a car? Yes. You own a car, right? You own, what about a mortgage? You got a mortgage? No. Okay, so you don't have a mortgage. Okay, so then I will look at your profile and be like, okay, what I need to do, we're going to create one. So the way we're going to create it, I'm going to have you go get an uh, installment loan, a secure okay. installment loan. So you're going to get a uh, secure installment loan. You might only pay $150, right? And then mm -hmm. you're going to use it, pay it back. Use it, pay it back. Just use $25, pay it back. Use it, pay it back. Use it, pay it back. Do that for three months. All right, okay. so now we got your installment loan. So it, since you don't have a mortgage, no problem. That's going, that's going to replace your mortgage. You got okay. installment loan, okay? So now we say, okay, let me see what else. Okay, now now we know, Tom, okay, we gotta, you got to start paying on time now, okay? You got any credit cards? No. No credit cards. Okay. So now what we got to do, Tom, we got to create you some credit cards. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go get you some secure credit cards. You're going to put okay. $150 down, right? And that's the, that's going to be your money that you're going to use. You're going to, you're going to mm -hmm. do that same play for three months. You're going to use it, pay it back, use it, pay it back. But every two weeks, you're going to see your credit score go like this. Your credit score is going to start going up. You see okay. what I'm saying? So now 
we building up because why? We take an initiative ourselves and we making it go up. We pushing it up there, right? So now okay. check this out. So now I got your credit score to a 680, to a 680 credit score, right? From doing that right there, what I'm just sharing with you, right? Now mm -hmm. it's time to put it on steroids and take it over the top now, okay? So now you don't really have a lot of history. You don't have no big major credit cards for 50, 60, $20,000, you don't have that, right? But guess what? Guess right. where we're going to get that from? From an authorized user. Okay. Okay. Do you all understand what authorized users are? Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't give them, hey, hey, Dad, don't give them too much. Don't give them too <laughs> much. Don't give, don't give them too, too much. much. Uh, I love my viewers. Wait a minute. I love my uh, viewers and I love my <laughs> listeners. But y'all, y'all want the deep, deep stuff. You got to call this man. Don't give him too much. That's right. That's right. I'm giving him. Look, look. I know you. you know what? No, you know what? Not the. Not, this is dig this. That's because you love what you do. I love. I'm passionate about it. So I guess what? It. I hear it. And I'm like, oh, let me calm down, down. Yes. <laughs> yes. I gotta give it to them, man. I gotta give yeah, it to them. No, they I, they I, still I gotta it. come to me because it's more moving parts to it. A little bit more moving right, parts. Right, right, but right. it's like I'm so passionate about it that I'm just giving away the tapes because right. y'all you know, need it. Because yes. if I don't do it. Who else gonna do oh, right. it? Where right. you gonna get this right. opportunity? Right, right, right. It's not gonna. I happen. just want to co-sign something with, like, as you telling, you know, simply deep tone certain mm. things. My, I put my name on everything you're saying, and I haven't done it with you, you know, as far mm. as what you're doing. But mm. everything you said, I've done before. I brought my house years ago. The whole secure mm -hmm. credit, put three hundred dollars yep. on the credit card, yep. paying for go. a certain amount. Mm -hmm. My credit shot up, so I'm sitting there laughing because I'm like, damn, this is everything I did. Yeah, and I went to go yep. buy my house and you know get my cars and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I co-sign everything. That's why I'm so saying now, like <laughs> Okay, so now we see. Okay, Mark, Mark already did that. So you know everything I'm saying is is the real deal, Facts. right? Yes. Right. So right, now, right. so now, now you're getting the education that you didn't have back then. So now mm -hmm. we're gonna flip it some. All right. So now your utilization, uh, Mark, is high because you got. I know you probably got several cars. Car mm -hmm. notes you paying, right? right? Right. Okay. And you got a mortgage, right? Right. And you probably got some loans, right? Right. Keep going. Fair to say that. <laughs> it's fair to say that. <laughs> right. Right. right? <laughs> so now what's happening is that now when the lenders look at your credit, they're mm -hmm. gonna be like, damn, that he got too much debt to income ratio. Right. Debt to income ratio now. So right. now you won't get approved for those big limit credit cards. Those right. big limit loans. So this is how you do that. This is how we hide all of that. And it's all legit. What we do now, you got an LLC, right? Right. All right, let's take the LLC. Let's we gotta, we gotta be, we gotta be, we gotta act like Donald Trump, sure. You know what right. I'm saying? Because this is what Donald Trump does on his level, but now we're gonna do it on our level. You got an LLC. So now the way you're gonna hide it, you're gonna, you're gonna put that stuff underneath your business name. You see, so now when you put your cars underneath your business name, now when the lenders go, you see, you're going to use your personal, your personal's over here. You're going to use that to fake out the lenders. So when the lenders mm -hmm. come and look at your personal, they're going to dictate and look at your personal. They're going to be like, hey, your personal look good. Wow, you, you, don't, you, don't, you ain't got no debt to income ratio. Your, your right, cars right, are good. Right. So now you can get some business credit now without going through the tears. Without going mm -hmm. through the vendor credit, you don't have to go through that. Right. Now you're gonna right. be able to qualify for the business. So now, because you, what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your cars underneath the business. Mm -hmm. you see, and it's gonna give you a, a excellent write off and everything too. So now you got it underneath the business. Now you can go ahead and now you can make major moves because they're looking at your personal because you're gonna personal guarantee your business. Hey, Mark, right. your, 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 your personal looks good. Now we can give you the 50000 over here in your business. Now, mm -hmm. this is the beautiful thing. With business credit, y'all, is no utilization. So when they give you $50,000 in business credit, you can use that whole $50,000 today, all of it, and you don't get penalized. When you do that on your personal side and use that 50000 and just use and take and use more than 30%, you penalize so much, it's gonna take your credit score from a 750 all the way down to a, a 600. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because you use too much. So right, basically, right. 
what else I do too is I show you how to use get these cars and you're not even paying the note yourself. You can get any car, okay? And and what I do too, I get cars and I get the bank to finance the cars. The bank finance for me, they they finance four cars for me at one time. All right. I don't I don't put a dime down, no penny, no nothing down. And I can walk out with four cars. Okay. So now people would look and say, well, damn, Dad, why are you getting four cars? Okay. Come on, y'all. We entrepreneurs now. Come on. We got to get our hats on. Why, why I got four cars? Because I, I'm going to. Mr. Fastlane was on because he do it. But he had to jump off. He's going to jump on. Because he's he going to jump what you great talk about. Okay. Yeah, he okay. Gonna... So, so now he's on, he's on Toro. He's doing yeah, Toro. Yeah. Or he's, doing, he's doing Toro, right? That's okay, why he so had to that, jump off because he has some business to do with his Toro. But he's going to jump back on a little bit. <laughs> all right, good, good, good. So what, do you want me to stop talking about it? Or oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Because he's probably listening in anyway. Go ahead. Okay, all right, cool. So now you're going to use those four cars to go ahead and make your money because you're going to rent it on Toro, but now you got it on Toro. So now you're making, you're making more money. So if you're renting it for a hundred dollars a day, but your card note might be six hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars. But now you can flip that because they paying for your card note. You're gonna make your, your card note might be six hundred dollars, but you bring it in at the end of the month, you're bringing in three thousand dollars at the end of the month. So you're not even paying for the card note for real. So you can go and get three and four cars, and that's what I do. I go get, I just went and got a Mercedes off the showroom floor. 2022. I'm getting a. Um, I'm getting into the um, the the Corvettes. I'm getting into the. It's just a lot of cars that I'm that I'm dealing with right now. About four cars. Okay. But the thing is, the bank will finance that car. The because you got you got an LLC. Since you have an LLC, it's a bank out here. I'm I'm not gonna get that out yet though. Okay. All right, Mark. <laughs> no, get that one out yet. All right. No, 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 no. All right. Don't get that one out yet. Okay. All right. No. But no, it's a no. bank out here that will finance four cars for you. And you don't have to put nothing down. And all you have to do is just have your LLC for one year, for one year. And they will finance four cars for you. And you don't have to put no down payment. So now you got that going on. You got, I deal with um, event space. I got an event space that I, that I do now. Uh, I rent out event space. So I got several businesses that I do now because of the credit. I'm telling y'all, the credit is crazy. It's, it's, it's out of this world, y'all. So it's like, you gotta get, if you, if you, if you do have okay credit, you gotta let a person like myself look at your profile and now show you how to put that thing on steroids so you can now, and one day you can go out and get a hundred thousand. You can go get that, that money. So, so now let me ask you some questions. Far mm -hmm. as since you've been doing this and everything like that, is the biggest thing that you run into is people not having the knowledge. Yep, that's the main thing. They don't have the knowledge, that's it. So right. you got people, I, I'm gonna say it like this, man. You got people that's in the drug game, right? Mm -hmm. I gotta go there, I gotta say that, all right? Cause yeah. we, can, we, can, we can relate to it, okay? Right. So, but the thing is, a lot of them that's getting smart now, because they smart, just because they on the street doing their thing, they entrepreneurs, right? right, right. But right. believe it or not, a lot of them now, Yo, they doing this credit thing. They flipping credit cards. They flipping the game now. They, they making $100,000 a month. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy, easy. Because they understand the credit. The credit, man, you can liquidate the car. So say for example, you got a $50,000 car, credit card. And now you all know that you don't want to take that credit card and go to the Mac machine or the ATM machine and withdraw because y'all know that's crazy interest is going to come out. It's crazy, right? right. So right. now how do we how do we uh, get the money off the card? I know every, everybody go, been to the casino, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so guess what? What if you went to the casino, when you go to the casino and you buy the chips with your card, with your credit card, right? Mm -hmm. And you go, now you go and play um, the roulettes or whatever. And then when you come back over to the table, when you want to get back the chips that you didn't use, what they do, they put it back they on your card. They right, give you cash right. for it. They give you cash right. for it. Right. So now you got cash for it. So that's how you flip that. So now what if I say, you know what? I don't gamble, but I need to take $20,000 or $10,000 off this credit card. Right. Because I'm a flip it. 
I need $10,000 cash, but I know I can go buy a car for 5,000. I can sell the car in the street. And then I know I can make 15,000, 10,000 off of it. I'm going within 30 days, this could be done. And this is what I do. I can do it within 30 days and I can put that money right back on the credit card, right? So now I went to over to the, um, the dealer. I went over to the deal. I said, hey, you know what? I'm not going to play today. You know, I lost a couple of dollars. And when I say a couple of dollars, I lost $5. That's it. All right. But remember, they gave me the whole $10,000 worth of chips. So now I'm, I'm high rolling at the casino, but I'm not high rolling because I'm going to go there. I'm going to spend $5. I'm going to lose that $5. Then I'm going back over to the counter and say, you know what? Here, I just, I'm not, I'm not having a good day. All right. And what they're going to do, they're going to give me, they're going to give me my $10,000 cash. Now I'm walking out with the cash now. I got the cash. So now I can take the cash. Now I can flip it. But guess what? Now it looks good with the, with the, with the banks and looks good with the banks. It's because now they seeing that flow. They just saying, wow, Daryl's using his credit card responsibly because he's using it. He took 10,000 out and then he paid it back the next day. You see what I'm saying? So now what's going to happen in three months, y'all? If I keep doing it that way, what's going to happen to my card in three months? Your credit score is going to fly up. No, we ain't worried money. about this credit score. No, nah, credit score. We ain't talking about the credit score. They're what's going to happen? They're going to give you more. They're going to open up your limitations. Exactly. And guess how much they're going to give you? At least $10,000 to fifteen dollars to $20,000. Now, check mm -hmm. this out. Check this out. This is my strategy. So now, I just told you, you're going to get the minimum is going to be $10,000. This is what I do. The minimum is going to be $10,000, right? But how many cars do I have? How many cars is my, am I playing with? I'm doing this with. I'm doing it with five cards, right? So mm -hmm. guess what? In three months, they gave me, a per se, a raise or a limit, $10,000 $10, a piece on each card. That's $50,000 every, every three to six months. I'm getting just because I'm managing the card right. Right. I'm getting an extra $50,000, $30,000, whatever I'm getting. So now check this out. All right, when you all go to the, I know all y'all get on airplanes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when y'all go to the airport, y'all sit in the regular lobby, the crying babies, and you know, y'all down and y'all <laughs> chilling down there, right? But right. guess what? All you gotta have is a 680, a 680 credit score. And you can get the American Express Platinum Gold Medal Card. That's mm -hmm. going to allow you to go in the lounge, the Victorian lounge now. You can go into the lounge, and now what they're going to do, they're going to feed you all the food you can get. It's a beautiful restaurant and everything in the, in the airport, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to give you all the drinks you can drink. Plus, they're going to they're put you in an area where you can sit there, get on your laptop, do your work. You can see the... You can see the um, the board, you, know, you can see what time your flight's leaving or what time, you know, it's not what's going on with your flight, but you're doing it all from there. You're not sitting down there with everybody else who got bad ass credit. Mm -hmm. And they don't know about it. They don't even have to have bad credit. They don't know about it. So now, yeah. and you can take a guest with you. So now here it is, you're going to the airport, you chilling, you're going straight up into the lounge. So you, I always call it the Jay-Z lounge because that's where Jay-Z and them go <laughs> when they go. Right, right? right. So right. guess what? Now y'all going in Jay Z down and Jay Z Lounge was a six eighty credit score. You got a metal credit card, all right. So now we got that at the airport, right? But guess what? All y'all play for y'all y'all pay for your um your flights, right? Mm -hmm. When y'all do travel, no, nah, right. I don't pay for flights, man. No, mm -hmm. we ain't paying for flights now. <laughs> credit, credit. Because what do we, what do credit do when you when you use it? They give you points, right? right. So now right. here it is. You got a studio. You got an overhead. You got this going on, that going on. You you what you gonna do? You are gonna use your card because your credit card is gonna give you points. They are gonna give you flying miles. You, you see when it says, "Hey, right, right. you get this credit card. We are gonna right. give you fifty thousand points when you sign up for this credit card. That's enough to mm -hmm. fly to from here to North Carolina for free." Mm. So now you understand that part. That's on the, that's on the travel card because that's what they give you, right? You want to keep now. They give you fifty thousand points, but now you want to you want to keep using that card, that credit card for everything you do. You're not gonna use cash no more. You got the cash. This is how you surviving now. Now 
you're changing your mindset, and now you're going to use the credit card. You got the cash in your pocket. You're going to go get gas. You're not going to get the gas now with your, with your, um, with your cash. cash. Right. You're going to get it with your credit card. And then when you get home, two days, three days later, you're going to pay it off on the credit card. So when you mm -hmm. keep doing that, you're using it. The bank is saying you use it. Now they're going to say, yeah, we got to get this guy. We got we to put him more in debt. We got to give him more money because he know how to use it. But we just want to give him more money and more money. But yo, yo, I'm telling y'all, I'm so passionate about this. this. I'm telling you, this is crazy. We've been missing this forever. I went out, yeah. I went out about, this was in December, January and February. It only took me two weeks, right? I just went buck wild. I just duplicated every damn thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, when I see something that works, y'all, I'm duplicating. I'm going to do it again. Why? I'm, I can do that again. I'm doing it again. So what I did, I went, man, and flipped over $200,000 in mm. less than two weeks by doing right. what I'm telling y'all what I did. Less than two weeks. And it was, I was like, yo. So I, I guess what? I told my daughter how to do it. She went out and got a, a condo and everything. She got a car. She's only 25 years old. So I'm telling you all need to take what I'm telling y'all and then teach your kids. Because guess what? Well, if you don't teach your kids, then they are gonna grow up just like we did. And our parents didn't know no better. They didn't know. And we didn't right. learn until now. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. And I'm, and I'm still applying for credit cards and flipping credit cards. So I say maybe at least once a week, I could easily go get 50,000. So people say, well, damn, why are you sitting on that? Because I'm getting ready to do a huge project. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? With real estate, okay? So you know how when we look at, I'm, I'm just going to brainstorm with y'all for a while. You know how we look at things and we say, damn, man, I wish I could do that, man. I just wish, you can do it. It all starts, just learn the credit game. That's it. That's all you got to do. So now anything you want to do, you could do. I always was intimidated when I see them big buildings being built or was somebody getting a house built from the ground up. But guess what? I see the contractors building like 10 houses all in one area. But guess mm -hmm. what, y'all? That's me. And the quiet is kept. That's me because I learned the, the credit game. So now, right, right. guess what? I'm becoming a developer, okay? Mm. And guess what? I don't know everything about developing and all this. I don't know, but guess what? I got the resources. I got the credit. And guess what? I'm not getting in there breaking down a wall or none of that. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. I ain't going in there doing none of that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not that guy, <laughs> you know? So, no. But when you got the credit, y'all, the credit, the credit, the credit, you can do right. anything. And guess what? The bank is going to keep giving you money. Oh, yeah. It, there, you have, we got another 100000 for you. There, we got this for you. So this is what I do. So I just I just got to go. I got to fast forward just a little bit and somewhat rewind, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all the two things that you all need to be into. And this is, this is critical, y'all. You all are entrepreneurs, right? And you mm -hmm. all have businesses, correct? Right? Correct. Right? Y'all got to get into marketing, digital marketing, Facebook digital marketing, because that's the other golden egg that's out here. And you got to have it to take your business to the next level. You all got a podcast, right? Mm -hmm. You all know artists that's trying to, you know, do mixtapes and, and all this they trying to do, right? But when they mm -hmm. put their videos out, they might get 100 views. 200 views, 500 views. But guess what? When they come to me, because I learned how to do digital marketing too. And this is what I'm going, I just want to share this with you all because these are the two things you need in order to really be successful in your business because it got to be marketed, right? So here it is. Mm -hmm. where the, when, I, when I deal with an artist, I get them over 250,000 new views, new audience, all right? I, and these are real people. All right. On podcast, I can get you a hundred thousand new viewers, new people looking at your podcast. If you are going to take your podcast to that next level, you got to get into the marketing. If you don't learn the marketing yourself, and I'm talking about digital marketing, Facebook, digital marketing on the back end. If you don't get into it yourself, then you're going to have to hire a person like myself 
and a person like myself would charge you about fifteen hundred dollars every month to two thousand to three thousand dollars a month. But when you have it set up properly, right? Even if you pay me three thousand dollars a month, you're going to be making four or five or six thousand dollars a month. That's how it works. I just want to just bring that up because it's about financial uh, illiteracy and stuff. It's about that, but you have to. These are the two things that you need by being an entrepreneur. Because if you don't, yo, it's not going. Your, the business is not going to work. So now, by you having a credit, now you can pay for your ads because you know you got to pay for ads, Facebook ads, and Instagram ads. You got to pay for them when you want to do the marketing. So now, guess what? You got the credit. So now, if you want to run five hundred dollars a day, I have ran five hundred dollars a day, okay, on ads. All right, but when I do that, I can take a business straight to the top. And this is what I do for my own business. I own Ace Row Studio. We do photography, weddings. But anytime I want, I want to pack out my facility. All I got to do is wake up the next day and say, no, I'm going to add. Okay. Next week, I know I'm going to have 100 people there. Okay. You got to be able to do your business like that. Because now you got the, you got the money. You got the credit. You got that hooked up. But now learn that marketing, y'all. If you don't mm -hmm. learn it yourself, then you got to pay a person like myself or somebody else to do your marketing. But all this is all about credit and stuff like that. But I just wanted to throw that in there because, yo, y'all sitting on a gold mine. Right. So sitting if, on a gold mine. If, 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 someone, if someone wanted to get with you uh, for you to help them with their credit or to, to show them the marketing and or rent out the facilities or anything like that, mm -hmm. how would they get in touch with you? They can dial 215. 680-7909. Again, that's 215-680-7909. I don't even know if I got you plugged in, Darrell. Let me see. I think you do. I don't know, because you, you, you changed your number, right? <laughs> no, I never changed it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You never changed it? I should, I, I should still have it there. But just in case, give it to me one more time. It's 215-680-7909. Uh -huh. Yep, 7909. Okay. But the, the credit, uh, y'all... Do, do you have like a, 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 a website or an email go, address or anything? That they you can, can go on the Facebook. Daryl Knows Credit. That's my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And you can you see everything there. Daryl Knows okay. Credit. Yep. Got you. you only okay. need a so for any, anybody, anybody who wants to hit them up for the services, Daryl knows credit on, on Facebook. Uh, that's how you get at them, or you get at them by using the phone number. I'm gonna yeah. definitely give you a call because we need to sit down and discuss some of this stuff. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, man, and that's what it, that's what it's about, and that's what I love doing because I'm telling you, everybody's sitting on thousands, y'all. Don't don't procrastinate and let it go out and be like, oh no, that's not. He just talking. It ain't really like that. I'm telling y'all. It's real. It's real. Oh, you know, it, it, it is. It that's, is real. That's what hurt a lot of us. Exactly what you said. People do think mm -hmm. about all the computers and different things we could have been into, but we was like, no, nah, I ain't yeah. getting into that. And now look right. how much the stock is, as far as for Apple, yep. or mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these things that's going on, and even far as with the credit, real estate, and all that. Real yep. estate been around right. forever, but forever. we always was like, man, I ain't buying that. Now you yeah. turn around, everybody trying to get into real estate. Exactly, exactly. Well, no, Daryl, exactly. I know I'm going to contact you because okay. I can't keep using my mama's name and my baby's credit. Oh, my because God. Because mama did and my kids is grown, so they use Lord, their own credit. Lord, so I got to reach out Lord, to you because you, better, you didn't took my whole mind for a spin and Lord, I was over here taking notes. Lord, and I mean, honestly, some stuff I knew, mm -hmm. but I mean, you just fine tuned it. You made it so simple. Yep. Like, yo, that makes, makes total sense. sense. And why not us? Yep, why like, why we not do us? it, y'all? We got to do it, man. We got to, we, we, we have to do it because you said, look, you could change where you live at. You could change the cars you driving. Yo, it's so much, yo, I still can't believe it when I wake up every day and I say, you know what? Me and my wife be like, you know what? I'm going to start a, let's start a new business. Hmm. Well, my wife does, she owns uh smooches plus size magazine and modeling agency. And we woke up one day. I said, you know what? Let's do this. This is what we did. Last January, this is what we did. Woke up, I said, you know what? Let's get 30 girls from all over the country. Let's get 30 girls, and we're going to tell all the 30 girls 
to meet us in Las Vegas. They're gonna meet us in Las <laughs> Vegas. They're gonna have a place to stay, everything, all right? But they pay it. <laughs> See, look. No, I'm laughing because I'm laughing. that's where she at. I'm laughing because that's where Jay at. She's in Las Vegas right now. There you go. Yep. And, you <laughs> and I'm a plus size, like, beautiful, big woman. I'm ready. Yes. <laughs> that's my <laughs> fault. <laughs> you all in my warehouse. I'm listening. I'm no. tired of you to my mama's ready. No, no. But I'm telling you. And guess what? 30 girls paid their tuition. They flew from all over the country. We have a magazine. They got into the magazine and they had the best time of their life. But the reason why I'm saying that is one, it was from the credit because the credit helped us uh, set up the magazine and everything. Also, it helped us uh, to get points so that we can fly for free to um, you know Vegas and stuff. And it showed, well, here, here it is, the marketing took a place. So the marketing, once I marketed and I said, th this was my target audience. What's the girl that's uh, Lizzo? Liz, what's her name? Lizzo, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did, I targeted her. So the way Facebook works uh, on the back end when you're doing the digital marketing stuff, so I target Lizzo, all right? So guess what? Everybody that goes see Lizzo also saw my ad. My ad was in front of them. So now when they see my ad there, now they take that and be like, hey, all right, I want to I wanna try out. I want to do this. I want to do that. So we had hundreds of girls qualify. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just saying that to say, these are the two things that you got to get into, the marketing and credit. That's where you're going to find your success. So if you do both mm -hmm. of them, and if you decide, no, I don't want to do marketing, no problem, do the credit. That'll take you over the top. You want cars? Hey, guys. If you was in Miami, let me we're going to show it. I got to gotta jump. I got to jump off for a second. But darling, I'm going to be in touch with you. I'm jumping. All right, please call me. I'd love to talk to you. I am. I am. Trust me. Okay. All right. Give me a call. All right. All right, y'all. Check this out. Let's, let's, let's have some fun. I like to have fun. Can we have some fun, Mark, or what? What are we doing? Yeah, we got a couple minutes because I got another Zoom in 10 minutes. Oh, you got another Zoom. Okay. All right. Well, we, yeah, we can do it ahead, another time. Ahead. All right. But check this out. We are, we, everybody on here, entrepreneurs, right? So if you are was living in Miami, Right, and y'all got your credit right. Y'all making y'all y'all you got y'all sitting on one hundred fifty thousand dollars on credit, which is extremely easy to do. Okay, now, what would you market in Miami? Surfboards, <laughs> motor, motor, motor. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Motor, flip yes, flops. Yes, yes. Flip flops. You got it. She said flip flops. Mark said okay. flip okay. flops. But, but uh, Mark said. Uh, the motorboards, right? They go on the water, right? Ski mobile, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But guess what? They only ten thousand dollars. So wow. here it is. You you now here it is. You buy two of them, right? For ten dollars, that's twenty thousand dollars. You sitting on one hundred fifty thousand dollars on your credit, all right? But guess what? You making a thousand dollars a day off of that. So would mm. you be scared to try it because? You know, you're not into, you ain't into, I never even driven one. All right. right but, right. but I would invest. No, I, would invest. I ain't got to yeah. do it. So it's invest. like, that's what we got to do, y'all. Right. So you right. see how I just came up with an idea and now say, yo, I'm going to do this. If it don't work, it don't work. No problem. I got two schema bills. I'm going to take it with the family and we're just going to go find a, find some place here in Philadelphia. I can take it. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. But yeah. that's what it's about, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Any ideas that you come up with, yo, we got any dog lovers out here who love dogs? Hey, you can, there you go, there you go. Okay, you can, you can wake up one morning and say, you know what? I wanna, I'm gonna get, I wanna start a dog collar for, I wanna get dog collars for dogs. I want, and I want it to be blinged out for dogs. Cause you know, that, that's a big thing now, you know? Right. So here it is for dog lovers, right? So here it is. You can wake up and you can start a dog thing. And then you know how to market it. Now you can market it to everybody who own a damn dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got the credit. You can go get the stuff and then you can market it to make your money. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 Give your get information real. Before we jump off, I want you to give your contact information one more time for everybody that's listening. For Just the people that's listening credit. that jumped on. Hold up. Before they, if y'all missed any of the show, you can always go back to YouTube Search mm -hmm. the door of radio, it'll be uploaded, or you can check out the podcast and listen to it on anywhere that you listen to your podcast on Sador Radio. Go ahead, D, give me your information. 
you all can contact me on Facebook. It's Daryl Ace, basically. Daryl Ace, my business page on Facebook is Daryl Knows Credit. But basically, you just go to Daryl no, um, Ace, and you can contact me there. And you, know, you can see everything that I do there. You can see all the tips, tricks, and everything right there. Go to Daryl Ace on Facebook, Daryl, D-A-R-R-Y-L-A-C-E. And or you can give me a call at area code 215-680-7909. All right, y'all, stop procrastinating. Jay, 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 you got anything you want to uh, tell our viewers and listeners, anything you want to spread, you know? To our Man, viewers? I appreciate all the information we got today. I'm sure enough going to be reaching out to you. Um, I have a show coming up, well, a few shows coming up, but tomorrow I have a 420 show coming up. Um, RSVP, check out my Instagram and Facebook. Nice. Daryl, I'm talking to you. Better. Like everything that you said, it's in layers because everything builds to something else. Yes, so I mean, I can that. really see how that can happen. So yeah. I definitely appreciate you coming on and sharing your information and your time. God bless. Thanks for having me too. Miss Dark Child, you got anything going on? I know you've been posting flyers like crazy. Yeah, you know, tomorrow I'm at uh, at Glen Mill Friday and Saturday in Glen Mills oh. with um, Jacob Williamson from Wild and Out, and two Ray is all the way up there and Mo Williams. But Daryl, don't we know each other? What's your name? Miss Dark, Dark Child. Child. You know, you know, you know Dark Child. Miss Dark Child, the comedian. We probably do. We probably do. You gotta get with me too. I got some, I got some stuff for you. You gotta call me. Yes, I know Daryl, and I'm just trying to put it together, but I, you know, I think I did. But anyway, I got you know, the number. You probably, um, you probably know his wife, because his wife do major Shantae. uh yeah, you know Shantae. I'm sure you yeah. know her. Everybody knows Shantae. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know Daryl, but anyway, it, mm. it, 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 I caught the end of it, but I, I'm definitely going to go back and watch the show because it was definitely sound like it was interesting. Oh, so, um, do, and don't procrastinate, y'all. Let's get it popping. Get this money, y'all, because if y'all don't get it, the white folks going to get it. <laughs> well, tell me what your Facebook page is. It's Daryl Ace, right? Ace. Daryl Ace. Yep. D-A-R-R-Y-L Ace. A-C-E. D -A -R -R -Y -L -Ace. A -C -E. But that's not your last name. You got a K in your oh, last name. Oh, my last name, right? name is Bradley. Bradley. Oh, Bradley. okay. All right. Yep. But that's how All you're right. gonna contact me though. All right. Mark, All thanks right. for having now, me. I definitely, you know, I'll be in touch with you real soon. You know, we're gonna sit yeah. down and get together. It's good seeing you. I appreciate hey, you coming on. Man, let's get thanks to my co-host Simply D. Uh and everybody. Right, I appreciate y'all. Next Thursday, check us out here again, 6 p.m. 7 p.m. Open conversation show. Again, go back, watch Peace. the show, YouTube. Everybody be safe, and we talk to you. Peace. Peace.